Well, yeah, I'd like to tell you about a special Siberian Husky that I met many, many years ago. I was volunteering at a shelter, at a local shelter that I, um, in my hometown, and I was walking through the back kennels and I wasn't supposed to be back there. They discouraged volunteers from being back there, but I went back there anyway. And I was just kind of looking to see who was going to be coming up into the adoption area uh, soon. And I don't know, I always like to look at their stories and see who was coming. And this scruffy little Siberian Husky that was, her legs were too short and she had this overbite and she just stopped me in my tracks. And I was like, what is your story, little girl? And she had a big medical sheet on her and, and indicated that she'd had some seizures and she'd vomited. And in a big red Sharpie, there was the acronym PTS. And I didn't know what that meant. And um, I found someone and asked and they said, oh, that means put to sleep. I'm like, well, why? And they said, well, because of unknown medical conditions and, you know, resource reasons, blah, blah, blah. And I just couldn't stand it. So I just said, I want to adopt her. And then the barriers went up, you know, from the animal shelter at the time, there were a lot of barriers. They're like, oh, but you, you already have two dogs and blah, blah. You know, it was, and I'm like, you're going to kill her. So... Um, anyway, they finally agreed and let me adopt her and um, I brought her home and it was a horrible experience with my other two dogs. They fought and fought and fought and I kept reaching out to local trainers and they kept telling me, you're just going to have to probably euthanize her, you know, this is just probably something we can't work with and I couldn't understand why no one was willing to even come to my house and, and give me some pointers. And so I reached out to a Siberian Husky rescue on the East Coast, thousands of miles away, and they spent, I don't know, hours with me on the phone over the course of the next few weeks and gave me tips. And I figured out that I was the problem. Um, my stress and anxiety was fueling the problems. And so we actually were able to have um, harmony in the house. Uh, she was diagnosed with mega esophagus, which was also a challenge, but we learned really quickly how to um, how to manage it. It wasn't, I mean, it, it was a big deal, but it wasn't a big deal. She lived with me for nine, no, she was nine when I adopted her. She lived with me for, she was just shy of her 15th birthday when she passed, or her 15th, what we called her birthday, when she passed. And she actually inspired me. Um, to start a Husky rescue in my local community because I thought, you know, here was this wonderful dog that didn't have a path out of the shelter. And so I started um, a Siberian Husky rescue in Omaha, Nebraska. And quickly we have expanded to covering over seven states and it still exists to this day. And so her legacy continues and lives on.